Well, there's still a lot of unanswered questions tonight in the wake of two FBI raids in Corpus Christi today. Agents raided the headquarters of Fulton Construction in the downtown area, and they also searched an upscale home just off Ocean Drive. As we reported, that home belongs to CCISD school trustee John Longoria, who is also a former member of the city council. At this point, the FBI has not said if the two raids are connected, and at this point, no one has been accused of any wrongdoing. But already, Longoria is facing calls from the local head of the American Federation of Teachers to resign from the school board. Our Bill Churchwell reports. Well, we were saddened by it, but at the same time, it, we weren't surprised. That's Dr. Nancy Vera sharing her reaction to the FBI investigation at the home owned by longstanding school trustee John Longoria. FBI investigators confirmed to 3 News they executed a search warrant at the home on the 2800 block of Denver Avenue, where multiple boxes were taken from the scene. Officials have not made any allegations against Mr. Longoria, nor have they said Mr. Longoria is under investigation. His connection to this case, if any, is still undisclosed at this time. But in a bold move, Vera is calling on Longoria to step down from his position on the school board. The reason? With this going on in Mr. Longoria's life, uh, that he's not going to be able to fulfill his responsibilities as a school board member, so we believe that he needs to resign. This is not the first time the teachers union has spoken out against Mr. Longoria. Two years ago, the AFT voiced their concerns about the 2018 CCISD school bond proposal in which a large majority of the money went to the construction of the new Mary Carroll High School. Take a listen to this clip from our previous report. There are a few bad actors on that board and we know who they are. One of them, you know, has filed a fi you know, has failed to file a campaign finance report. He's been on the, this board longer than anybody. The board member the AFT is specifically talking about is John Longoria. They claim he favors certain contractors and helps grant them the contracts for work on the schools. But we talked with Longoria and he denies that wholeheartedly. I haven't had a campaign account in eight years. I haven't had to have one. I'm not one of those politicians that raise money all the time. Tuesday's raid at Longoria's home was not the only location where we found FBI agents taking boxes from. This 3 News drone video also shows a law enforcement presence at 1102 2nd Street. That office is owned by Fulton Construction, formerly known as Fulton Coastcon. Fulton Construction also has long-standing ties to the Corpus Christi area. They were involved in the construction of the new Nueces County Courthouse, the Omni Hotel, and multiple projects for the Corpus Christi ISD, including the new Mary Carroll High School. Investigators have not disclosed whether there is any connection between the two locations where raids took place. 3 News also contacted Mr. Longoria about the situation at his home, but he declined to comment. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.